Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Frags for Men. Today I have another barbershop fragrance for you guys. This is Burning Barbershop from DS and Durga. So if you guys saw my last video, I basically ordered 1725 by Histoires de Parfums. As I've been recently, you know, kind of in this barbershop fragrance type of vibe that I've been acquiring barbershop fragrances lately. Um, you guys can see the review for 1725 here. Now, today I just got Burning Barbershop by Diaz and Durga. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I was so excited that I basically couldn't even wait to do an unboxing. And first impression, forgive me guys, but nonetheless, guys, I've had this on my skin all day. And I gotta tell you guys, the performance is incredible. Beastly performance, especially for an aromatic barbershop fragrance. Now, before we even get into that, so Burning Barbershop was released in 2010. The master perfumer is David Seth Motes. And the concept of Burning Barbershop, well, is a barbershop that caught on fire. More specifically, in Westlake, New York in 1891 there was a barber shop and in this barber shop there were many bottles of shaving foam tonic there was you know aromas of lavender mint vanilla and all of a sudden this beautiful and classic barber shop caught fire and the entire barber shop went into flames smoke everywhere the oil from the machines and the clippers and the you know all of the products caught fire so as you entered this burning barber shop once the flame settled there was one bottle of you know barbershop product that was perfectly preserved yet burnt on the outside and this is the concept of burning barbershop so first and foremost this is 100 ml 3.4 ounces this is by the niche perfumery house ds and durga they have many other fragrances which i haven't smelled but i definitely want to do smell such as amber kisso i don't know what and many other fragrances now, Burning Barbershop is one of the most unique smelling barbershop fragrances that I have ever come across because the main notes in this fragrance is mint, lavender, vanilla, and burnt oil. So basically, guys, what this smells like is as soon as you apply it on your skin, you're gonna get the classic elements of a barbershop men's fragrance, which is a beautiful photorealistic lavender. You're gonna get that clean and herbally sensation from the mint. You're also gonna get this creaminess and powderiness of the vanilla. And these comp like basically these three components are gonna give a freshness to the composition that very quickly dissipates and transitions into this burnt, smoky, woody, oil type of essence. So listen very carefully, guys. If you're looking for a fresh, da uh, dandified, gentleman, powdery, classic, aromatic fougere barbershop type fragrance i don't think this is what you're looking for now if you're looking for something that is completely unique it's a completely unique take on a barbershop style fragrance with this burnt essence basically it's at the forefront so the way i describe this smell is like half 
of it is your typical barbershop. So you have the lavender, the mint, the vanilla, and then the other half is this burnt, smoky, resinous, um, burnt wood oil kind of aroma. And it's basically gonna be there the entire life of the fragrance. So I gotta be honest with you guys, don't expect that the burnt or smoky element of this fragrance is gonna dissipate and then you're gonna be left with, you know, like a clean barbershop fragrance. No. This fragrance is a beast mode fragrance. Um, it has lasted all day. I'm talking about, it's been about nine plus hours and it's still radiating throughout my skin. Um, so I can definitely tell that DS and Durga makes high quality products, but I'm still getting that burnt oil, you know, aroma. So would I recommend this? Is this blind buy worthy? I would say definitely no. I would say try it on your skin if you are, you know, into smoky type of fragrances. If you love smoky fragrances and you also love the barbershop genre, then I highly, highly recommend this. But like I said, do try this on the skin. Um, this fragrance to me is a complete work of art. They were able to basically bring that entire burning barbershop concept and put it in this bottle. And trust me, they did a phenomenal job with that. So my credit goes out to DS and Durga um, and Mr. David, phenomenal job. Uh, with that being said, if you are into niche and artistic fragrances with an artistic concept, you're definitely gonna appreciate this. Is this an everyday wear that you can wear casually that you know women are gonna you know melt over? I'm not entirely convinced, okay? I think this is more of a fragrance that somebody can wear when they really wanna make a statement or simply for personal use to actually admire it, almost like a piece of art, because that is definitely what this is. Burning Barbershop is a piece of art. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this content, like and subscribe comment down below if you have smelled this fragrance before what is your opinion do you agree do you disagree also i'm still trying to find some good barbershop fragrances so if you guys have any suggestions for me please comment down below i will read the comments and i will answer back um you guys can also follow me on instagram at frags for men and you can follow me on tiktok at Frags for men. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Frags for men. I'll catch you guys next time.